All right, so we're starting with the match against Villarreal. I'm not going to play it. I'm just going to do the quick scene because I'm really, really not interested in playing this fixture. I've played it too many times and it really, really annoys me every single bloody time. But good to know that we do win it. German gets a breeze and Vardio gets the, the, the second goal of the 63rd minute. So that was a very good start to the episode. And I actually feel like they actually do way better when you do the quick scene than when you simulate from the calendar. I'm not sure. They're just a speculation, just what I've seen. I know, but uh, to make this episode even better, I'm going to bring in one of these guys that I've had on my shortlist for about uh, three fucking seasons or something like that. So it's Haaland. I'm going to bring in Haaland into the team. And you might say, okay, what happened to Fontega? Fontega is still really good. He's also a nice four rated player. The thing is, I want to have two nice four rated strikers, and that is Erling Haaland and Nuno Fonseca. And why? Why I want to do that? Because I feel like uh, the team needs um, a fresh player. I'm not particularly sure why. Because I mean, our team is really good and they should be able to be challenging for the title. But they're just not doing that at this part of the season. And it's really crucial that I win the title this season. Well, it's not really that crucial, but you know, I just want to win it because you know I have won it for like the past two seasons or three seasons, if I'm not wrong. They say how long is 168, but they want a 239,000 million pound basically 240 million all right so i'm going to go for 180 at first i might actually have to give up someone maybe i might give up Rise or something like that but i'm going to be doing a 442 formation right now like from now on and i mean i can actually buy haaland without any problems at all because i have the money but i just feel like uh the change in formation is going to make players lose a lot of playing time. Someone like someone like uh, what's his face, like maybe Calvin James might actually lose a lot of play time because you have Pedri, Kallenberg, and Florian Wirtz in that center. That going to be fighting for that center center mid position. But if I do three four three, I can actually still make I can actually still make that work ish in a way. But I'm I'm not sure yet. I really don't know what I want to do yet. But I mean, once I get Holland, I will know how to work the entire thing. Let's just take it up to one eighty five to see. How exactly that might play out. Let's give them a 15% selling clause. They're most likely not going to go for that. Of course. Alright, so they, they, they go straight for 239. Alright, so that's actually what they asked for in the in that panel thing that I saw before I came in here. So 200, let's see how this would work. Oh my god, they're not they're not budging. That's literally half of the money I have right now. That is fucking half of my money. Things I don't want to give that much. So let's try this. One more go. One more go. Come on. Alright. So 220 million for, for Haaland. That is a cra crazy amount of money. But I mean, it's Haaland is worth it. I hope it's worth it. I, re I really, really hope it's worth it, to be honest. But uh, I mean, it has to be worth it. We have uh, three more seasons to go. So, I mean, it, sh it should be worth it. So crucial rule, obviously, then four years. I think I want to take that to five. He's 27, so that will be... I mean, it's most likely not going to finish. It's not going to finish before I, I'm done with the, with this series. So I think five years will be good enough. So no release clause. And then his salary, let's just pop 500 there for him. All right. So no, no bonuses. I'm not really interested in bonuses. That thing makes me think too much. And all right, they do accept. So Haaland is officially in our team now. And that is one more fucking insane player that we have added into our into our side. So there he is coming into the club. Sign the ball for the kid. Please, thank you. Take a couple pictures, do your training drill. None of the players actually come out. That's the money looking guy over there. Then Tuko. Yeah, Tuko. I keep on forgetting that Tuko is actually our, our, our coach. He has done really, really well. He has done really well for the course of the entire series. So, how long do we number 16? That is you. That's not going to happen. I think there's, there's currently no number 9. In the team so I, I, I guess he's just going to have to wear that jersey so i got a c i could have saved um best possibility was 179 that is that is fucking stupid that is fucking stupid to be honest because <laughs> i mean they were not even going to answer me if i did that but whatever uh i wanted to change his number yeah i, I don't think there's a number nine in the squad so uh how long were you at okay change i mean it looks good in the in the kit angel korea oh korea is actually still in our team that's true that's true completely forgot about that guy to be honest but all right so 
I'm going to fix the, 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 the um, what do you call it, the formation up a little bit, and then I will uh, come back when I, sh when I can show you guys what exactly uh, our team looks like. So here's the new formation that I feel will work for the team now that Haaland is in it. So we have Fonseca and Haaland in the striker position. Two of them are going to be staying forward, obviously, because they are not going to be um, tracking back and doing all that stuff. I need the two of them. Fonseca has a lot of speed. Same goes with Haaland. They, they, they are both really fast, and Haaland is like a lot... He's on, he's on the stronger side, so he's going to be more of a target man kind of player. And Fonseca is going to be the one that, that, that makes the run, that makes the run-ins. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. So, German is not going to have as much scoring opportunities as he did because, I mean, he was on stay forward before. So, I mean, he, I mean, he might still score a couple of goals. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. And then Foden as well, like, they're on the same exact role on both wings. Then we have Pedri, Florian Wirtz, and James, obviously, in the midfield. And then we have Stewart... Helvig and Guardiola at the at the back, and how I'm going to do this shit is when um this guy Zaracho gets um fit, if I ever want to play him, it's going to be Helvig on the left, Guardiola in the center, and then and then um what's his name Zaracho on the right. That's how I'm going to do it, and then I I, I might also put Stewart on the wings if German is tired. Stewart and, and Zaracho they might, they can also play on the wings. If um, the wingers are tired, I also have Rizzi on the bench, so that is another that's another option for wingers. And you know, I mean, the team's actually set. The team is very, very fucking set, to be honest. So I'm really happy with it. Let's see if this team is going to be able to get us the win for the season. I mean, we're we're still looking at the Champions League. We're looking at uh, the Super Copa. We're most likely going to win that. I don't think we won it last year. No, we didn't win it last year. We lost to to Atletico Madrid. So we're looking at that. We're looking at the Copa del Rey. I'm not sure. Because we always fucking lose that trophy. I don't know why we still haven't won it yet. And I said I actually wanted to focus on that. So that's exactly what I'm going to do on that and the Champions League. Because the league, we have won the league enough times already. So I'm not really interested in, in winning that this season. So, I mean, it, it, it would still be fun to win it. But let's just see if uh, I can get the things I actually set out to get for this season. But then I think we already lost in the Copa de Rey. I think we're already out. Let me check. Sorry. It hasn't even started. Alright, so we're good. It hasn't started. So we are... I mean, that is our goal, the Champions League and the Copa de España, and then, you know, we still haven't won a treble, and by treble, I mean um, La Liga, the Domestic Cup, and the Champions League, we still haven't won that yet, and that is really what I want to do before before this um, series ends. Transfer off of a Pedri, obviously not going to, to answer that at all. A couple players have come back from loan, who are they? Stayed, um, Mano Mareska and Thomas Peter. Okay, that's good for them, I really don't care, but that's good for them. The next match is this one against Atletico Madrid. I'm going to simulate it and then I will play the finals. That's if we win that match. I really hope we win it. Even though the Super Copa is really not in my uh it's really not on my radar anymore because I have won that trophy too many fucking times to even count. So I mean if we do not win it, I'm completely fine. But I mean it would still be nice to at least have, you know, all the trophies available to us in this season. I don't think we won the Super Cup. Oh yeah, we did win the Super Cup against Juventus. Yeah, we did win that. So, the match against Cadiz, we have won it 3-1. I wonder how many goals Haaland will score in this half season. I mean, it should be a lot. I mean, not a lot, but I mean, I'm, I'm expecting to at least get a couple goals in. So, alright, so we are in the match for the semi-finals of the Super Copa. And the team, alright, so everybody, everyone is fit. Everyone is fit. Let's see what we have in our inbox right now. Um, transfer offer, blah, blah, blah. I'm really not interested in all that. I wonder why everybody wants to buy Zach Stephen. Oh, that's probably because he doesn't have that much playing time. So I think I'm going to play him in this match. I think I'm going to play him in this match. And All right. So let's just hope that he doesn't fuck it up for us. So quick sim. I'm hoping that we do win this match. I am really hoping that we do. Yes, we do. Rise and Helvig Haaland. I mean, I don't know if he has scored or not. I would like to see if he has actually gotten his debut goal. If he got his debut goal, rather. So, he didn't score in this match, which means he most likely... If he scored, it means he most likely scored in that match against, um, what's their face? Uh, Cadiz. And that will have been his debut goal for the team. So, let's see if he has indeed scored a goal this season. So, I think I can do it this way. Oh, yeah, he did score. He scored one goal in that match. All right, that's cool. He got, he got his debut goal. So, I'm not really expecting him to score that many goals. Brother, I'm expecting him to score it, but I'm not really putting my hopes on it. I really don't know why the I really don't know why the final for this um trophy is ex is like so close to the semi-finals, like three days away. 
I mean that that's bullshit. I'm not playing the match or I'm not playing the full match. I'm going to play the highlights only. But uh, I want Stefan to like take care of this. I mean, I I'm counting on him. He he should be able to. Uh, I will bring in Kallenberg for Vitz, Rise for Foden. Uh, I will leave Haaland and Fontega. Let's see how they actually would how they actually work. That was so close. I almost, I almost, I almost started the match without changing these people's kits. Hopefully, it's not snowing, is it? All right, it's not. It's raining rather. And I hope, I hope this match will actually work out for us. I mean, it should. I mean, I'm, I'm very confident in my defense. I'm way more confident in. Yeah, I'm, I'm way more confident in defense than attack in this uh, series. Because the defense is actually really, really fucking good. And I actually did my hair. I did braids. Welcome just pointing it out. <laughs> because anyone is wondering why I did it. I just felt like doing it. My graduation is coming up soon. And uh, I just wanted to do this before the graduation. I know. So. Alright, so we have our team against Real Madrid. We have. This is a very, very tough fixture. We have played it a couple of times. And I'm really hoping that we are able to get the better of Real Madrid this time around. Last time we played, we did get the better of them. That was the last match of the previous episode. And we should be good. So the first order of business, what is it? So we have an attack. And I see I see a very... Like Haaland's first assist, possibly. Yep, first assist. And Fonteca has gotten yet another goal. Thanks to Haaland. I mean, these people are going to be one hell of a duo. I really cannot wait. I really cannot wait to see how well they're going to do in the coming seasons and we have three seasons more three seasons left so i really cannot wait how to see how well they are both going to do in these seasons to come thank you pedri that is good defending good interception all right so i really do not like all these kinds of scenarios because i i hardly ever know what the fuck to do i hardly ever know what the hell i want to do in these hopefully the game doesn't fuck me up though all right give it to holland give it to German, give it to Rise. Rise, come on, what do you got for me? And Pedri, never going to miss from there. Never ever going to miss from there. And that is two goals already in the finals of the Super Copa. And then I think Haaland will have a very good chance to get the second goal for the club. And we're just in the. Alright. Haaland, come on. God, I don't know why it took so long. He actually took so long to shoot it. But whatever he actually did put it in the in the back of the net and that is what matters for our team. So 3-0 and we are 3-0 in the first half. Alright, so we have yet another opportunity here for Haaland and Fonseca. I mean Fonseca might actually end up on this if I don't fuck it up. And I did fuck it up. I don't know why the hell I wasn't able to like control that with Haaland. But whatever. We're we're winning by a really large margin, so I'm really not bothered about anything right now. And thank you, Helvig. That was this guy is a fucking lifesaver, to be honest. All right, so this is a tougher opportunity, a tougher, a tougher defensive scenario rather, and still works on that as well. All right, so attack. I see German. You possibly are the best person to pass to. No, you're not. Why the hell did I think that? All right. Ah, oh, crap. Wasn't able to hold it completely. Well, whatever. We have one last chance for for Fonseca. All right. So, I mean, we're leading three 0 So, what I want to do right now really wouldn't matter if I do not score. Oh, it's already long gone. It's already that. That is actually not what I wanted to do. That's actually not what I wanted to do. I don't know why the fuck that happened. But whatever. So, <laughs> we do we do win it three 0 and I'm really not interested in them losing the trophy. To be honest, really not interested in that at all. Listen to that one too many times. So, Fonseca and Talon got a 10 point match rating. That's that's really interesting. So, once again, we are winners of the Spanish Super Copa. Rese run of form four times. I don't know why. He, I mean, he didn't, I didn't really see him at all in the last match. So, I guess that would be the that would be why. And he doesn't play as much. What is this? This should be the Spanish Cup. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to simulate every single one of those matches because I do not trust this game at all. So, that's 3 1 against Real Sociedad and 3-1 again against Osasuna so I'm going to simulate every single one of the uh, league matches 
from now on. The only ones I would I would play highlights for is the if there's an important match in the in, in this cup fixture or if there's an important match in the Champions League, like this one. It's not really that important, so I'm going to do the quick sim. But before I do the quick sim, I want to give Rise another chance. When the hell are you coming back, bro? Good news, Kalenberg has reached um, 90. That's good for him. I'm going to um, make Vardio see this one out. Oh yeah, and let's give Korea a chance to play here with Haaland. So... So our bridge was actually tied, I probably should have done something about that. But we do win it on penalties, that was so fucking close. Who got the goal for us? Rise got the goal for us. He I actually gave him his chance and he made he made the most of it. And that's that was really close. What the hell? Why the hell is 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 my team uh struggling against that side? Alright, so next up we have a tougher match against Real Betis. I'm going to play this one. Highlights obviously. But let's just change the key real quick. I think, I think the blue one will do here. Alright, Florian Wirtz. Let's bring in Stefan. Let's play him in this one. Then Batch hasn't played in a while, so I guess... No, I guess I'll do that. I'll do it this way. And then put Kallenberg on this side. Or rather, let's switch that. Alright, I think, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Alright, so Fonseca and Haaland are going to start. I, I really, really like that duo so much already. From, from the last match we just played against Real Madrid, I really like that doing so much. So I was saying that uh, I I'm not going to play any of the league matches anymore because I I'm really not in, interested in. I mean, I want to win the league, but if the team cannot do it on their own, then it is what it is. So I'm not going to focus on the league. I'm just going to do the calendar simulation for that, and then for the. The Champions League and this one, that's what I'm going to put my focus on. I'm going to do quick sims if I have to. I'm going to play four matches if I have to. I'm going to do the playable highlights if I have to. And let's hope that this way we get to win this trophy that eluded us, eluded us from since the beginning of this freaking series. So, don't know what the hell Haaland did there. But this will be a good chance to start. Alright, Fonseca. Don't know how this is going to work out, but it should. It did not. And do we get the ball? Oh my god, we actually... And that was a dumb move from Foden right there. Okay, so they have an attack. And this... Oh. We have our defense complete there. Did not know that. Thank you, Helvig. Always in the right place at the right fucking time. And this is a very interesting one. Very fucking interesting, if you ask me. And it... I might, I might want to go around, to be honest, I might actually prefer to go around, but then this guy, Fonseca is also a really big option, but you know what, let's just, let's just do it with German, let's hope that it works out, it does not, alright, I, I, probably, I probably should have used outer foot, that would have, that would have been a lot better, so Vario, you got this, I have no, I have no problem with, with you here, come on, Oh my god, this is bad. This is not good. Helvig, thank you so much for that. Alright, so we... Oh, they have yet another opportunity. Alright, so we have to score. I mean, the next one we get, we have to score in that. Come on. Come on, guys. That was... Alright, so Helvig, yet again, helping us out. So we have a solo run here for Haaland. And... Uh, I'm just going to go out and say that this is a goal. This is a fucking goal. Do not... Do not fuck with me. Thank you. Nothing, nothing that anyone would have done against. Don't, don't stop that from happening. Cause I mean, it's Holland bearing down on the on the goalkeeper. We have another opportunity for Holland here. I mean, it's looking like it's more of a Holland chance than a. No, you idiots! Why the hell would you do that? I mean, I guess I could have like tried to control it before shooting. I wanted him to, like turn and use his his left foot to shoot that, but I guess I guess that that wasn't an option. And I just fucked up. Thank you. That thank God he like take advantage of that. Block all of their fucking passing options right now. Oh my God! All right, thank you, Helvig, to the rescue once again. Alright, so we do win the match 1-0. It's not, it's not a lot, but I mean, it's a win, so I'm good with that. Next up, we have Atletico Madrid again. I'm going to be bringing Rise in for 
Foden right now, and I think, all right, he's not he's not ready yet. I think in the next match he would be ready. So I'm not going to make any changes. I think I think you know what? Let's bring in Kalimberg. Let let him play play in this match. Bandre is going to play this one as well. Then what the hell am I doing? The kids. I, I guess the kids are okay. So I'll play the highlights for this one, and I'm I'm really hoping that we do we do get. They win in this match. I really actually don't know why in La Liga, I mean, they're, they're giving me three Copa España matches in a, in a row. I don't know why it's like that, but you know, I'm not complaining or anything. I guess it gives a bit of, a, a bit of a break from the actual, um, what do you call it, from the actual thing. Uh, crap. From the league, yes, that's, that's the word I'm looking for. But anyways, this is going to be the toughest challenge yet for this Copa. For this um competition and they have a counter attack to start things off we beat them last time the super copa three three one or was it four one i'm not i can't remember how big you got this no you don't got this stewart was actually really close oh he did get it all right that's that's good and they have yet another attack it's not even up to three minutes after that one they have another one so uh Come on, someone do something. Vardio, Helvig. Oh shit, he just did Vardio dirty right there. But he was able to um, come back from that. Haaland is here. Fonteca is there. I, I also don't know who I, want to, who I want to give right now. But I guess, oh shit, Pedro was legit not the best option right there. So, solo run. I see I see a good, a good chance for uh, Fonseca. Or not? Maybe Haaland. What the hell? Why did he not? There was no form of angle on that. No bend. No nothing. I mean, I swear to God, I did not shoot that straight at the keeper. That <sighs> so fucked up, man. Thank you, Helvig. Thank you so much. I guess this should be our last opportunity. Fonseca should be able to get round. Or not. Alright, not. So we have one more opportunity. We have Haaland, we have Fonseca, and we have Florian Verts, I guess. Haaland, come on, come on, come on. No one's making the fucking run. No one is making the fuck. Bro, I mean these guys these guys could have just these guys could have just fucking That pass was not that hard. That pass was not that hard, but of course they fucking intercept something as easy as that. <sighs> Alright, so... Come on, guys. Thank you, Vandre. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Fonseca's penalty start is really good, so I'm not going to take any chances there. <laughs> None at all. Alright, Vandre, come on. Thank you so much. I don't know why it's lagging. Sorry about it. James on this next. Thank you. That is 2-0. I'm, 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 I'm getting pretty confident in our skills right now. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, if 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 we score this, that, that's game over. This would be the easiest fucking shit ever. Oh, my God. That just had to happen. That just had to fucking happen. Oh, my God. I cannot believe that shit just happened. They just had to do that to me, didn't they? They just had to fucking do that shit. Alright, so, uh, German, it's you. It's you, boy. Ugh, these guys are trying to fucking kill me. These guys are trying to fucking kill me, and I do a Panenka. It does not show. That's fucking stupid. But, I mean, we do win it. We go through to the next round. I have no idea what the next round is, though, to be honest. But, we go through nonetheless, and that is, that is good for us. Yeah, that's the final goal. Fucking Panenka, keeper went the, the complete wrong way. That's very fucking humiliating for all black, but it happened, it happened, and nothing he can do about that. So that was a close one, but we do win it 3-1 on penalties. Next match I'm interested in, okay, there is this one, but I'm really hoping that we are... No, I'm not going to take any, I'm not going to take any chances, I'm just going to do it. No Sorry, it's because of the coke I'm drinking. I'm just going to do a normal sim. I'm not attending the fucking press conference. 
uh German is kind of low on, on stamina so I guess this is this is one of the good reasons for having um a, a very deep squad it's really really handy to be honest but I think this guy should be done he's still not fit for the fuck for the actual fuck when is he going to fucking come back well, okay Pedri 2 is not completely fit for this match so I want to give my best for this match so Kalenberg is going to play in that position I was doing a quick sim really really hoping that we get the win my fingers are crossed and please come on yes we do that's a very fucking crazy win for take out with a hat trick and korea with the last goal so up next in the champions league i'm not interested in that so i'm going to simulate all the way okay so i guess we have a double leg thing here if i'm not wrong i guess it's a double leg all right so i'm pretty sure it's a double leg because we cannot be playing the same the same team twice so i'm going to simulate all the way to that leipzig match we we draw against zaragoza that's not really interesting we lose to fucking um leipzig 3-2 then granada please win 2-1 okay that's a good win then next up we have sevilla i'm hoping for a win come on come on come on all right that's a fucking draw great all right so it, it was it was a 4-0 win so i'm really not bothered about that at all we win 3-1 against real madrid and then now we have a really important match which is this one against um what's their face that team rb leipzig i have no idea why that shit drops just now did i lose one of the objectives or something because i i don't think i'm out of the uh i don't think i'm out of any any competition yeah we're in the final of the copa de espana that's that's interesting then we are in the round of 16 of the champions league we are currently in fourth position is it like impossible for us to to win the 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 uh what's it called the league right now i, I doubt it's impossible i really fucking doubt it is uh we are oh my god Oh my fucking god, they are they are long gone. I, I honestly believe that it's impossible for us to win this. I mean I mean third marks is what I think that we would get because even Barcelona is fucking ten points. It's over ten points ahead of us. God that is bad. That's this was a really fucking bad season when it comes to the league. It's exactly why I'm not even giving it any attention anymore. God that's fucking bad. That's really fucking bad. But I guess we, are, we have to focus on the Champions League and the Cup for now. We are in the finals of the Cup, so I guess that is one match that I'm going to play, like for a full match, and then I'm most likely going to leave the, the last the last one for the Champions League. Yeah, so Champions League finals and that one is what I'm going to play. Uh, changes, not really. I guess I guess I want Zarate to play. I wonder where the fuck is coming. Oh yeah, he's back. That's, that's good for me. Oh my god. Something's up in my fucking controller. All right, so Cantelo, sorry about that, bro. Uh, yeah, Stewart is who is supposed to get the fuck right now. All right, I guess I'm good. I guess I'm good. I'm, I'm bringing my A game right now. I'm bringing my A fucking game. Uh, they are one goal ahead, so I mean that shouldn't really be a problem if the game is good to us in this match, which I'm really, really fucking hoping it is because. Come on, come on. I mean, just, wh why the hell are we going to lose to fucking Leipzig, man? Why the hell? Alright, so we are in the Camp de Cohetes. This is the final video. I'm, I'm not going to be changing this anymore. I think I might actually change it to one last one. I'm not sure though, but they have a solo run. That is not good. But we do have Helvig and Zarachu and Vardio. Who might. Oh my god. I almost messed that up. I almost messed that up. Thank you, Helvig. Thank you so much. All right, counter attack. Let's see what Helvig and Fonseca have for us. Come on! How was that offside? How was that fucking offside? Oh my god! All right, all right. Helvig to the rescue, back to the keeper, and that's good. So what do we have next? Come on, come on, we need we need more options. 
We need more fucking options right now. I mean, that was a very obvious pass. Oh my days. Oh my days. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the hell did Vardio do there? That is not good at all. That is not fucking good at all. Now we have to score two goals in this match. We absolutely have to. I see. I see Fonseca. And please don't watch this. Thank you. Alright, so that's one goal in the bag. That's one goal in the bag. We just need one more. We just need one more or at least two more. So come on. Thank you for this. Thank you for this. Let's hope that I do not fuck this up. I'm going to blast this into Rosend. Okay, not into Rosend, but like... I'm going to blast this into whatever. Alright, I actually, actually took that to the right. <laughs> so I'm really happy that the game did not answer me. I took it a little bit down the middle. Alright, so that is two goals for Fonteca. Completely saved our assist right now. And we have... What might just be... A, a, a club saving. A, 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 you know what? I doubt, I doubt the heart is going to come. Haaland! Oh my god! Oh my god! How the fuck did he do that? <laughs> I'm guessing that was a deflection because I did not press the chip. Oh my, what the fuck is that finishing? I swear to god, if it was not a deflection, that would be so fucking crazy. That would be so fucking crazy if that was not a deflection, but... Alright, so we have one more opportunity that I'm looking at right now. And... Uh, oh my god, that's not who I freaking passed to. This game is full of shit. This game is full of fucking shit. Alright, so we do win the match 5-4 and I can get 3-1 in this match. Oops, sorry about that. I'm so sorry. So fucking sorry. Yeah, we do deserve it. Come on. I'm pretty, good. I'm pretty sure we got fucked in that first match for us to lose it 3-2. But we do win this one 3-1. The first goal, I have no idea what the fuck Vardio did there. I have no fucking idea what the hell man did. But I mean, it was I. It was I. I mean, I mean, all he has to do was clear it. I don't know why. I, I don't know why the fuck he was backing the ball in the first place. This is the Haaland goal. I don't know why they, they're not showing um, Fonseca's. No, I actually want to see how the fuck that happened though. Actually, sorry about this. I want to see how how exactly that happened. Okay. Or it was a deflection. It was a deflection, but I mean, it was a very it was a very lucky deflection. I don't know where the hell um, Fonseca's second goal is. I think it was the penalty here. Yeah. They didn't show us the penalty. All right, so we are through to the next round of the Champions League. That is cool. So what do we have here? Tables I know, blah blah blah. Thank you for putting me back in. I want more from you. Then you can be even better. I think I'm going to leave Zaracho in for a bit now. Let's change that for for good here. So Cantelo, you're dropping off, so you're not really going to play that many games. Oh my god, why the fuck did that have to happen? Okay, so Helvig to that. I need a new fucking controller. I need a new controller. Alright, um I think I think I would put you know this is the main this is the main um formation, so let's not do that just yet. We have um one match. I mean I will just sim to okay this will be the finals of the the uh what do you call it? The final of the Copa del Rey, so I'm, I'm expecting a Champions League match anytime soon. So we win against Valencia 3 2. Let's hope that this, this is a good win against Santa Vigo. We do not we lose the fucking match. Alright, so we are actually currently fighting for Champions League position, but if we do win it this season, then we, then we really wouldn't need to fight for it per se. So I mean, our priority is to win the Champions League because we're not really in a good spot in the, in the league right now. So we have. The first match against Dortmund, and then the second one is going to be against. Uh, all right, the second leg that's what I'm going to play. But let's look at the color. Sorry, the, the table for the league right now. Uh, we are fifth, but we have a match at hand. 
Real Madrid and Valencia are the ones that are really fucking me up right now. Right, so we cannot, we, we cannot afford to not be in the. Uh, Wait, I, I saw a couple of messages. We cannot afford to not be in the Champions League for next season because, I mean, it's not a given that we're going to win the Champions League this season. So we have to absolutely try our fucking best. I'm still not going to play any matches though. I'm still not going to do any of that. So I just hope that the team has enough sense to do shit right now. So German is the highest scorer in our team right now in the league with 16 goals. That's good for him. So we're simulating to the away fixture of the Dortmund match. Let's hope that we do win this one. I would draw it, that's not good, then we lose the fucking Dortmund match, so here we go, fighting for our lives once again. What the hell? What the actual... Why are we losing every... <sighs> Calm down. Calm the fuck down. Just chill. Just want to look at the, the, the La Liga table right now. I have no idea what the fuck is happening. Alright, so we are legit fifth right now. Barcelona is long gone. I mean, there's no way we're catching Barcelona anymore or catching uh, Atletico Madrid. We could still catch Villarreal if they fuck up and we do not fuck up from now on, which is highly unlikely. So, I mean, like, I only hope to, to get past Real Madrid, to be honest. That's my only fucking hope right now. Ah, uh, so fucking stupid, if you ask me. So fucking stupid. Alright, so I'm bringing Zara to. Sorry, I'm bringing. Um, I'm bringing. What's his face? Stewart back in. I'm bringing Risa into this match. And Haaland is kind of low on health, so I guess. I guess I would play Risa up there, and then I would play Foden here. Alright, so I guess I am good. Yeah, I'm good. So. 2-1, that's what they are winning us by, and um, I mean, a two-goal deficit should be able to do it. So I'm pretty confident that we should be able to come back in this match. I'm, re I'm really hoping that we do come back in this match because uh, we're able to do that against against Leipzig. And um, I, I don't know how tough the Dortmund side is, to be honest. I really don't know how tough they are. But I'm guessing they wouldn't really be that tough. But let's see, let's see. We say... Nah, it doesn't, doesn't get to you. Okay, uh, we'll try again. Oh my god, this is a really good opportunity for, for Fonteca. Please land perfectly. Oh my god, that is insane finishing. I mean, he's at it again, but that finishing, oh my god, that was sweet. That was fucking insane. Alright, they have a an opportunity here. We're already in the second half. I'm, I'm looking for a goal or two after this, after that one. So let's just put this match to bed. That was that was good. They have another one. All right. So we have. Come on! Thank you, thank you, help, um, Bandre. Thank you so much. All right. So we have a good, a really good opportunity here for Fonseca, I guess. We should be able to get this to him. Legit. And he is going to be able to help us. I hate this game so much. I hate this game so fucking much. I mean, he's not supposed to be missing that. Has 19, 99 fucking finishing. He's not supposed to be missing that. But Rise. Alright, we have a second chance. And that was deflected. And we are most likely going to... Oh, we are still we're still in the normal time. Pretty sure after this we're going to the uh, extra time. So uh, you guys, come on, help me out here. I beg of you. Come on, Vardio, you can do better than that. Oh my god, that was so close. That was so fucking close. Come on, can you stop giving them all of the fucking chances right now? Like they've had three in a row now. So let's go with this guy's score. That's going to be complete fucking bullshit. Thank you, Guardio. Please come on, Tom. Ugh, fucking penalties. I really did not want to go to fucking penalties again. Oh, God. It's so fucking irritating. 
All right, so it's Holland here. Holland is not here. Yeah, so Fonseca resets towards Kallenberg and German. That's the top five. Okay, Vandre is not does not have the exact same charm that he had in the previous matches. All right, that is really good placements from Fonseca. And this one goes down the fucking middle. Alright, we say you're up. Let's see what you got and go straight to the fucking keeper. Fucking fill the freaking panenka. Alright, right, this is not good. This is not fucking good at all. This is not fucking good at all. Alright, Bandre. Thank you so much. Alright, Kallenberg, you can save us, please. You can fucking save us. Let's try the Panenka once more. Oh, alright, thank you. Alright, that's good. So, um, you, you just have to save this. Oh my god. Oh my god, alright, German, you got this. German, you fucking got this. Right? You fucking got this. I'm not taking it any direction. Yes. Yes, oh my god, that was so fucking... What? Alright, so I mean that's it, right? Come on, what the hell is going on? What the hell is going on? Why did that just fucking happen? Come on, I mean at least we won it now, right? I swear to God, we could have, we should have won it from the German goal. That's that's fucking stupid. If you ask me. But anyways, we're through to the semi-finals. That's what matters. That's what fucking matters. All right. So La Liga is a complete. It's a complete lost cause for me. That's the next match I we're going to play. That's the one against um, Barcelona. We have Real Madrid in the in the semi-finals of the Champions League. We win against Almeria and we win against Athletic Club. So next up we have Barcelona. That's going to be a tough match to play. I really can't remember what that team looks like, but I guess it's going to be tough. I feel like it's going to be way tougher than the Real Madrid match we played last last episode. I feel like. Let's change the kit real quick. Let's give them their home, their home jersey. I don't know why Haaland is low on. He's always fucking low on stamina though. I don't know why. Pedri is going up against his old team. Am I, is, there, is there anyone I want to bring in? I guess Rise will do. Yeah, Rise will do. And then Kallenberg? Uh, not now. I, w I want Stewart to have some playing time. Helvig, you want to come. There, Cancelo. I mean, Cancelo. Oh, uh, let's let's no, no, that's a big that's a big mistake. Let let Cancelo play for Stewart here. So Stewart's not going to be in this match at all. Um, I guess that is that should be good enough for me. So I did actually look at their team before they started before I, I started the match. So I don't really know who is going to be in this match, but I mean I would say it's in a bit. I'll take it in a bit. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not going to look at the formation and all. But let's just wait for them to come out of the of the tunnel. All right, so we're in the we're, we're in the Wanda Metropolitan. That's good. Okay, so there's Alexander Arnold. I have no idea who that keeper is. There's Laporte. There's De Jong. There is Bernardo Silva. I think that's all I can recognize right now. But you know, I'll, I'll see them. I'll see them as we move on. I see them as we move on, but this, I mean, we're definitely not getting the treble this season. I would have loved to unleash, re oh my god, that, that was so close, it was almost, it was almost through. Okay, that, that was, that was actually rather lucky. Give it back to Rise. I see, I saw, I saw German there, I saw German there, but I guess I saw him a little bit too late. Oh my god, oh my god. Alright, I have no idea how they just fucking rate my defense just now. But I guess... Alright, what the hell is happening right now? I have no idea, but I see Fonseca, that was... Oh my god, these guys want to kill my fucking players, I tell you. 
please. Oh, that was a really good interception, but I guess I'm guessing I'm seeing a free kick right here. Right, that is that is genius. That is fucking genius. But Reese, sorry, this guy's curve is not all that. So I need someone with way better curve right now. Fonseca's curve is pretty okay. So I think Fonseca will take this. I think he will be the best person to take this. But I'm going to, I'm going to make it low and hard. I mean, you should not be able to do anything about this. Who the fuck is this guy that is spinning around the fucking... What the hell was that? Anyways, I'm going straight for it, Haaland. I do not get anything on that, but... I see... Rise probably... Nothing on that as well. Yeah, so I mean, this match is looking... I mean, we are definitely doing a lot better than Barcelona. Like we are, no cap. But the problem right now is the finishing. The finishing is bad. The, 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 the work, the passing in the final third is not really... Alright, so that was that was really lucky. We were really lucky no one was on the end of that. What? What? Oh my god. What why the hell was the keeper out of position? Right on the verge of fucking half time. Oh my god, what the hell was the keeper doing? How the hell did our defense get so fucked there i mean the keeper did not even try to like adjust his position or anything what the hell what the actual fuck was that oh come on i mean this trophy has eluded us for the entire six seasons seven seasons that we've played i need it i need it at least once come on at least once oh really i really don't know what the hell is happening to be honest of course, offside, of course. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, man. I mean, they're having the ideas. They're just not executing it fast enough. Like, so this should be a goal. We got Rise. Thank you. Alright, I mean, there's no way they're going to catch him. The problem there was going to be the finishing, and he finished it very well, too. Number 31, Rise gets the goal for us, and well, we are back in this match. Come on, guys, come on. No, do not do this to me. Alright. Vandre, thank you so much for that. Yeah, Haaland is fucking dying. I have to do something about that. Uh, I guess I'll bring in Foden. But then I'll put Rise as the striker there. But in order to do that, I guess I'm going to have to make him get in behind. Alright, then... I guess... Cancelo is actually not doing anything. What the hell? What the fuck? <laughs> well, I'm just going to take him out just for the sake of it. And I guess I would. I'll, I'll, I'm good with this um, team for now. Thank you, Vardio. Thank you. Is that Antifati? I have sworn that he was long gone out of Barcelona by now. Alright. Get, get this from him. Oh my god. Please. Please, someone, someone help me out here. Foden, you are fast enough, I guess. But how fast enough, though? Come on, I wanted to pass. I wanted to pass. I actually fucking wanted to pass there. Well, I guess that doesn't work out. He set him loose, of course. Come on. Alright, alright, so he was not in the best position for that. Great. We should be able to do something here. We should be... Oh, God, just had to go out. The fuck are you holding my player for, man? Fucking great.
Please tell me you're offside. Please, someone help me. Oof. Oof. <laughs> that was insane. That was that. That was a shot. That was a shot, man. I mean, I I, I saw I saw folding too late, but I didn't know if it was on, on offside or not, so I didn't want to, to like risk that. But I mean, German just never count him out. I mean, I was already counting him out of him scoring goals, but look at him scoring like one of the most important goals of his entire series. This is that might just be the goal that wins us the fucking uh, that wins us the. Okay, don't know why the hell that happened. Damn, German is on fire at the end of this match. Like legit, he's on fire. And let's bring in Florian. Sorry, I'm um, Kallenberg, and no one else really. I mean, I was bringing Batch, but nah, I mean, the match is already fucking over, so. <sighs> Let's see. I mean, I, I like it when this thing works out so much. Well, that didn't work out as, as well as well. Uh, as I planned, but I mean that is the winning result for us, and we have won the Copa del Rey finally. We have won the Copa de España. The fans are going absolutely fucking wild right now. This is one memory that is going to stick in this club for a long time because I mean seven seasons have passed. I mean I really don't know if it's seven or six seasons, but whatever. Seven seasons have passed, and uh, we have never won this trophy up until now. We are finally lifting it. My game is lagging like crazy. So, oh shit! I thought I—I I swear to God, I thought if I press X, it would just skip to the trophy scenes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we, do, we don't even get to see us leave that trophy. That trophy. That's so sad. That is sad as fuck. So, whatever we do win the trophy, that's what that's what that's what matters. See, that, that's it. Two one to Barcelona. Thank you, German. Thank you for Antica for for getting us those really, really fucking important wins. And now we have to focus on this Real Madrid match. That's going to be a really fucking important match. Let's hope that we do win the first leg. The second leg is, of course, we fucking lose it. Of course, we fucking lose the match. But good thing is we do win the Hetafe match. I see. I see. The Barcelona match and the Atletico Madrid match coming up next. So let's so let's just look at the trophy. Sorry, at the standings real quick. We have Spurs and Liverpool there right now. That's that's insane. All right, so we can defeat Real Madrid and get to get into the Champions League. So we definitely have to play that Real Madrid match and just hope that we win the rest. Or that we have to play the Real Madrid match and the Atletico Madrid match to make sure that we do not lose them. So um, let's just focus on this Real Madrid match for now. Carla, I have no idea why his stamina is really bad. I really don't know why the fuck that is happening. Helvik has a red card. The fuck did that happen? How the actual fuck did that happen? So I guess um, both Stewart and Zawacho are going to be on this in this match. It's good for them. Yes, I would want to, I'll play Korea for this match. Haaland is going to have to take a rest for the finals or for the match that is coming up next. Playable highlights. Let's see if we can. I mean, yet again, we are going to have to come back from a one goal deficit. I don't want to go to penalties. Because, I mean, I mean, that shit just. I mean, you win that shit by luck. You, you literally win that shit by luck. Because there's no way you can know what direction the players are going to play it in. There's no fucking way you can do it. Unless they cheat. For that, I guess. I mean, there should be a cheat, shouldn't there? Alright, so Rumor really gets the first chance of the match. He counter attack. So, I mean, let's hope that uh, we should be. Oh my god, that is not good. And thank god we just fucking sky that. But <laughs> really, they have another one, right? Okay, come on, let's not. I'm, I'm going to be so pissed if the scenario they give me is shit. I'm going to be so fucking pissed if that's the case. 
going to be so fucking bloody pissed if that's the case. Alright, that's good defending. Come on. Can they give us a fucking a fucking uh I guess I guess Fonseca this will you know what? Let's try. I mean Reese's curve sorry, German's curve is not really all that. But let's try something bloody fucking crazy here. I'm expecting you to be able to do make something out of this. So please don't let me down, German. Don't fucking let me down. Not fucking let me down, please, please. All right, it was on target, but I just didn't have enough power. So, just die. Thank you, Guardio. All right, so we have. We need. We need to get a goal. What the hell? What the hell? What the actual fuck? Can we like can they like can they give us an opportunity to bloody fucking score for God's sake? I said if these guys like score this if, if they score a goal here, I'm going to be so pissed. I'm going to be so fucking pissed. Cause I don't know what what they fucking want from me. This game this game is fucking bullshit. This game is fucking trash. I hate this game so much. I hate it so bloody much. I hate it so fucking much. Okay, Korea has been long scored. Well, thank you. Alright, so we're back in the game immediately. That was a that, that was a good enough chance, but like we need we need two fucking goals. We need two fucking goals right now. Two goals is what I need right now. And um, this might be the best one yet. No, that, that chance is long gone. Alright. So, counter attack. Who is there? Uh, Foden might be able to get Fonseca, and that was beautiful. That was a beautiful pass, and Fonseca, you don't have the right to fucking miss this. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Well, I guess we're not winning the Champions League this season. <sighs> After all the money I spent in Haaland, this fucking happens. Oh, God. Fonseca, I cannot believe you fucking missed that. Can't believe you fucking missed that. I, 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 I don't know why the game freaking overruns this kind of shit. I, I don't know why they fucking overrun, overrun it. I have no idea why they fucking do that. But, but I mean now, we just have to, this just means that we have to focus on the league because it's no fucking way in hell that I am not going to make it to the Champions League now. No bloody fucking way in hell, right? No way. No fucking way that shit happen. I'm not even going to play any matches anymore. I'm just going to, any full matches anymore, I'm just going to do playable highlights and hope for the best. So Barcelona is who I'm facing right next. I swear to God, I fucking thought it was Real Madrid. That's, that, that sucks. That fucking sucks so hard. Real Madrid has already made it a little bit above. Um, wait, are we are we going to get to face Villarreal? Chill. We should. Yeah, we get to face the three of them, and they're all in the top four. That's that's good. That's very fucking good. Barcelona, they're they're on the top, right? So I'm not really interested. I mean, I'm going to draw them back if I win. I mean, I really need to win, no matter what. So that's a really good win. Fonseca and Pedri. Next up, we have Atletico Madrid. That those ones are a little bit closer to home, so I guess I'm going to have to play this one. Uh, we're in the fight for our fucking lives right now. To be honest, we're in the fight for our fucking lives. So, Atletico Madrid. I'm going to simulate this one as well. I'm putting my best team out there for all these matches. I'm hoping that we do get the win in this one. And we do. 2-1 yet again. Zaracho and James. Unlikely scorers, but I mean, we, we did the job. So, we have Villarreal next. If we can win this, then we most likely are going to... 
if we can win this match, we most likely are going to be through. If we if we do win the last match of the season, so I really need I really need us to win this. I really fucking need us to win this match. And I mean, it's not helping. It's not helping that. Uh, it's, re it's really not fucking helping that we are literally about to get fucking sacked right now. Because I mean, look at this. Uh, performance, blah blah blah. On a close observation, our confidence as regards your ability, ability to manage the club successfully has been undermined by recent results. So, I mean, the fact that we are not winning the league, that is bad. The fact that we did not win the Champions League, that is double bad. I mean, still we were, we're winning the league here. That's that's fucked up. I mean, the only thing to our name right now is the fucking uh, domestic success. And we now did not do this shit. I mean, it's only Haaland I bought. So that's bad. We, we also ignored this one as well. Damn. This is this is sad. This, this is bad. I mean, if we get sucked, I would have to end the episode, the series, because I mean, uh, I I wouldn't really want to play the entire this entire episode again. So I'm really hoping that I'm really hoping that we do not get sucked. Because I mean, if we do get sucked, I mean that's the end of the job, so that's the end of the series. So I mean that would be, that would be pretty realistic, to be honest. So uh, I mean, after everything I've done for them, after everything I've fucking done for them, that's that's just sad. All right, so. We're going straight into the playable highlight here. This was the first match of the episode, and we beat them. And they are going to come into our home. This is our long-lasting rivals. They are the team that is separating us from our Champions League spots. And we absolutely, absolutely have to fucking win this match. I mean, I really don't know if it's even going to be any, if it's going to be like important, if it's going to matter because we might as well just get sacked. I really, I'm really hoping that we don't get sacked. But I mean, if we I mean, let's just try our best, to be honest. Let's not be pessimistic right here. So, wow. Wow. I mean, Fonseca? Alright, come on. I, I believe in you. I believe in you. What the fuck? No, no, no. Like, what the fuck was that? I cannot believe this shit one bit. I cannot believe I cannot believe that he did not score that. I legit cannot believe that he did not fucking score that. Please. Thank you. I mean, easy chances you do not score. Hard chances like that. You put that in superbly. So I mean I mean I mean what? Make up your fucking mind man. I mean, we are winning, that's what matters. I think Fonseca definitely going to be the player of the season for this season. Haaland, I have no idea what he's doing. But thank God that did not turn out horribly horrible. Alright, so we have Fonseca. We have Haaland making a run for it. And please... Should have probably chipped it. I should have probably fucking chipped it. Okay, Helvig, Zaracho, and who's last person? Vardio. You guys have a bit of work to do, don't you? Thank you. You did the work really well. And now Fonteca has a second opportunity to 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 um put this kind of chance to bed. Uh, you are not missing it. He's not fucking missing it for shit. No fucking way. I'm going to allow that. I'm going to allow that to happen. All right, so we do win the match 2 0 So I guess we are with this. We should be in the Champions League spot. So Champions League, the Champions League space is what we're fighting for right now. It's what we're fucking fighting for right now, and ugh, this is fucking hard. It's a hard fucking fight, man. The board wishes that your position at the club is currently under close of. Our conference as regards blah 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 blah. Okay, so why are they sending me that again? Is it okay? So I'm 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 guessing that I'm most likely going to get uh, fired. I'm guessing this might just be the last episode of this series. <laughs> oh my God, just about you guys see season finale at the end. I mean, we did win a trophy, so come on, this should cut, this should cut us some slack. Right now, I'm not going to play this match. I mean, Villarreal and Real Madrid have. 
every chance to to get past us unless they are facing each other which will be really interesting they are fucking facing each other oh my god oh my god they are actually facing each other which means if they draw if they draw then i'm going to go through if each of if either of them win i'm going to finish our fourth so i am I am so fucking good right now. So I mean that just elevates all of my fucking words. What are the odds that they are actually playing each other? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. So I mean I, I, I will let uh this guy, Stephen, play in this match. I will let um uh Cantelu finish this season. This is the I mean he's retiring this season, right? If I'm not wrong. I think I think he is retiring. He's 30. I think he's retiring, I'm not sure. Holland and, Fod and Fonseca are going to start. We say I'm going to give him a chance. Kallenberg, I'm going to give him a chance as well. And that's pretty much all. I don't want to buy, I, I want um, the the uh, captain to play in the final match. So 4-2, that's a good win. Holland, Cantelo, Richard. Pedri, Holland, Cantelo, and German get the goals. And I think we're good. Yeah, so we are going to finish in third position or rather yeah third position way behind barcelona way behind um atletico madrid i mean not way i mean just six points behind atletico madrid but uh it's something so Villarreal are, are the ones that win the match of real madrid is going to be playing europa football next season i do not know if um, we are going to be making it through to the to the end to next season I really hope we do, but I mean this is the end of the episode, so let's just do the the normal ritual and stuff, which we which is checking all of the stats for the team. Uh, development schedule. No, sorry, stats. What, what the fuck am I doing there? All right, so Fonseca gets thirty seven goals and fourteen assists. That is impressive. So fifty one goal contributions. I mean, definitely. Oh my god, Haaland actually go all the way to eighteen goals. That is insane. That is fucking insane. Whatever. So he got fit. Whoops. He got fifty-one goal contributions. That's Fonseca. Then German got twenty-three and eight. So that's thirty-one goal contributions. Eighteen and six. That is twenty-four goal contributions for er Erling Haaland. And then Phil Foden in fifth position. So in fourth, we have eight goals and five. So he got thirteen. Yeah, thirteen goal contributions. And then we say with eleven goal contributions, with eight goals and three assists. So Fonseca once again gets the Player of the Season for our team this year and that is good so i'm going to check if we are going to get fired or not and uh wish me luck guys so i'm in the second to the last day before we end the season and we failed this one we failed this one we failed this one we failed one out of this one and we got this one so i mean it's not looking good for us it's not looking good for us as, at all but uh, we did get into the Champions League. We did win the Copa del Rey, which we have not won in a long time. So I'm really hoping that the board is going to do what is right and not sack us. Uh, we were hoping for a clearer commitment as well as better results from you. However, we are okay. So we are good. We are not going to get fired and all. So oh, that is a really big relief. That is a really fucking big relief. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Drop comments on what you think about the video. Who, you, who do you think we should bring into the team next season and all that? So, um, thank you guys for watching once again. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Play times that were over, these demons in my shoulder I've been sitting all day long